Hey guys, welcome back to Survival Addiction. Today we will be unboxing Gear Pack for February 2021. Um, and it will be the DOP box. I'm not sure if that's how you said that right. Let me get a better angle so we can see. Okay, so I am using my artisan cutlery copper. We'll use this to get it so we can see it better. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so it is box 54. And I will put the card right here. Okay, so in the basic box, there is Grenade Soap Maverick. Um, I'm pretty sure Grenade Soap is actually a battle box company. So, uh, yeah, just another thing. They say this goes for $8.99. So I've actually had one of their bars of soap come in, I think it was Battle Box. And yeah, it worked good for a while, but um, eventually it did fall apart and it just didn't work very good after that. Okay, hold on, let me find a second one. Okay, so the second thing in the basic box is the Gas Monkey Garage Multi-Tool. So let's go ahead and open it. So it says there's six functions on it. So it has a little carabiner. Looks like a file. Saw. Screwdriver. And a knife. And it does look like this one can probably be used as a screwdriver also. So I'm guessing that this is the this is two, three, four, five, six. So, okay. Um, I did look up how much these go for, and they're not, they don't go for very much, but I feel like it might be sturdy, who knows. Guess I'll try it out and see. Okay. So the next thing is Sorry guys. I think this is it. So it says Rothko Canvas Dope Kit. I'm pretty sure it's this. So it looks like a bag that you put all of your hygiene items in. Honestly, when I saw this coming up, on gear pack. I wasn't super excited for it. But after I'd watched the videos and stuff, I started getting a little bit more excited for it. Just cuz some of these things are actually pretty good to have in bug out bags. So Yeah, it looks pretty nice. It kind of reminds me of um, you know, those old military duffel bags that you can get. Okay. And that goes for $11.99. So then in the ba basic plus is, I'm guessing this is it. So it's a 
Dovo Chevette Straight Razor. They say it goes for $39.95. So I don't really use a straight razor, but my husband could, so, and I, I probably could too, honestly. I don't think there's really anything against me using one. So it feels like it's aluminum. And then I'm guessing these are replacement blades. Yeah, I think those are replacement blades. Okay. So, I, I don't know. Never had a straight razor. But it'll be kind of interesting to see what my husband thinks about it. He might he might like it, and who knows, maybe, maybe I'll give it a shot on my legs. Just joking. Maybe I won't. Okay. So, in the advanced box, there is this taint scrubber. When I saw this, it made me really laugh. Um, especially that it's called taint. Like it's, I'm sure it's an acronym, but it's just funny that that's what it's called. So you put your bar of soap in it and I guess it just kind of keeps it together. And honestly, I kind of wish I had this for my other one. Um, I don't remember which one it was. I can't remember what it was. What like smell it had to it, but it smelled really good. Um, I was kind of bummed that it fell apart, honestly. Okay, and then there. Okay, sorry. That is nine ninety nine for the taint scrubber, and then the Rothko microfiber towel. And I actually just bought a whole bunch of these for my bug out bag and my my family's bug out bag bags I should say so we now have a ton of microfiber towels so I'll probably end up just throwing this for like um camping or something because I like to have my camping stuff separate from my bug out stuff and I just kind of just rotate through stuff in my bug out bag, so it's nice having extras of these. Plus you can use them to like clean glasses and screens and whatever. Okay, so that goes for $9.99, which is actually really a really good price for a microfiber towel. Um, let's see. The next thing is the Duke Cannon Cold Shower 25 pack. So it's these. It kind of looks like wet wipes. Um, and I guess these cool you. Wet wipes that cool you. Um, I can't tell you how many times we would go in the field and we did wet wipe showers. So I get this. Um, you kind of live off of wet wipes when you're on the, in the field. You don't really have a whole lot of time to take showers and whatever. So I, I could believe this because on the back of this it says that it was um, made by veterans. So I, I could believe it. Okay. That goes for $12 and then the Duke Cannon Shampoo Puck. Kind of funny that the sticker is like crooked. That stuff bugs me. Okay, so this goes for $12 and it's shampoo. Oh, you know what? I was opening it the wrong way. Maybe. Oh, it like twists. Okay. So it's like a bar of soap kind of, but for shampoo. I've never used one of these. Not really a fan of the smell. It's kind of gross, in my opinion. Um, but you know what? If I'm camping 
I don't really care. You know what I mean? You just want to be clean. So it's just one of those things. All right. And then the very last thing is a Cricut prequel liner lock with filled strip technology. And they say that goes for $69.95. So I like when I get knives. And when I was looking at the filled strip, Cricut filled strip knives, that was about, about the price that I found them at. So I could believe it actually being that. Okay. It's kind of a strange blade. Look at that. It's like kind of a mix between a tanto and like a curved blade. See, it kind of like gets sharp a little bit. So apparently you can just strip this in, in the field. That's it. That's really all you have to do. Seems like too easy. Okay. Well, I'll probably put that back just so I don't cut myself. And then we can do a little sharpness test on it. If I can get it back. Shoot. All right, hold on guys, I'll be right back. Sorry guys, took me a second. Just had to get it back in place. Um, so it doesn't say what type of steel it is. Apparently they have a patent for it, so that's kind of cool. Um, it looks nice, kind of a weird blade. I'm not really sure I really like the blade, but like I said, it looks kind of nice. Um, wow, that is insanely sharp. Um, it cut through that like it was nothing, like I hardly had it put anything on it. So yeah, anyways, guys, that is gear pack, um, box 54, the dope box. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.